Hi Kirby fans, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing that rear bearing and front bearing in the G4 so you can use this on any of your generation series out to the Avalier. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you haven't already and you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. In today's episode, we're going to be changing the bearings in my G4. They've finally arrived, so we're going to change that front and rear bearing. I'm going to show you how to do that. You can use this for the Avalia, any generation series, and the bearings are the same on the Legend 2, apart from the front plate, but the front and back bearings are exactly the same, so it's the same process. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight to it. Right, so we've got our G4, and we're literally going to strip it down, draw all the way down to the armature. The tools you're going to need for this is basically just a Phillips screwdriver if you're doing it on a generation series upwards. So you're going to need a Torx 10 to move the two little screws that are here holding the cable and then obviously a Torx 20 to remove this fixing screw there and the screws that are inside. Um, but for this process with the G4 you basically just need a Phillips screwdriver. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight into it. Okay, try and keep your screws in some sort of order. If you haven't took one apart before, then you'll know roughly where they go. Let me get a screw over here. Push there and out that pops. Okay, the only one I have removed was the lead to begin with. And this should be pretty clean inside. As I have done this before. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna polish up the aluminium while I've got it all apart as well. Get this Kirby G4 looking absolutely brand spanking new. So this has been a long time coming. I did re-grease the bearings and I will put an eye card above for that video if you just want to re-grease your bearings. Um, but I thought as she's 25 years old, I'll treat her and change her to some new bearings. Okay, now for your Torx bits, it's going to be a T20, just undo these. So it's just a T20 to undo these. Most of the other screws are Phillips in the G4. But then Kirby did revert two torque screws for the rest of the Kirby's. So the rest of the Kirby's are mainly Torx 20s and your Torx 10, as I said, just to remove that lead. Okay, now to drop your tech drive out. Oops, get those to one side. Just make sure that's in drive. Flip it over. And she should drop straight out. Look, so remove the belt and we'll put that to one side. Now I've got a video where I replaced this tech drive and I'll put a link above to that as well if anyone needs to change their tech drive. It's a pretty simple process. That's just an Avalier tech drive that's actually in there now as the G4 did stop going I think it's backwards instead of forwards. So next up, do these. Now if you're not sure with your screws, what you can do, it's entirely up to you if it's your first time taking one apart, just put them back in where they came from, just so you don't lose them. Okay, I'm going to do that one. Okay, so those came out of there. In. 
bits on here, just unplug that lead there and pull that one out there and that's it. So these, just put them back in there. This way you always remember where your bolts have got to go. Okay, and if you put your three with your tech drive, you know those three actually come out of the tech drive. Now the ones with the washers on are pretty self-explanatory because they actually are the only ones that go in the bottom. So what I tend to do is keep those two together and then when you flip your Kirby over, you've got two here and I put those with those two washer ones so I know that those are the ones that actually hold this motor in place. Flip that back. And there they come. And just put those two with your ones, with your washer. So you know these goes in the top and then go in the bottom. And up to the G7, you've got this little Phillips screw here. So hold in that in. Put that with those. And then this pops out. Just unclip it again. There we go. And out she comes. So it's literally push your screwdriver down there and flick her out. And then that should be free. Okay, that's, and that's as far as you need to go. That's just a switch that's just popped out of there. So I'll put that to one side. But that's as far as we need to go with that part. So next up, we're going to remove the fan. Um, but what we'll do first, we'll just take these out. So these are just your bushes. So just loosen your bushes. And those screws you can put back in. So you don't lose them. So just put that screw back in there. Like so. Okay, just to literally hold it. Take that push out. Okay, and then put that screw just back in there as well. So you don't lose it. So it's a pretty simple process. If you put the screws back in, you're not going to lose them. But my other suggestion is get a bit of cardboard and just label them up. Once you take it apart more, you're going to know how to, how to actually put it back together and where all the screws go. So next up we're going to release our fan. And that's it, just turn that. There that comes. Now there are a few people having problems removing these fans saying they won't come off. I mean this hasn't been on that long so it should come off. So you literally hold the harbour at the back and just keep twisting and turning and pulling and then wiggle and off it comes. Obviously this fan's only been on a couple of months um, so we'll give it a clean as well while we're at it. Um, and also there's been problems with people wondering about the Avalier squealing and all that is is you just need to put a little bit of grease in there to lubricate where this rubber washer goes and that's the only reason it squeals. But we'll leave that in for now and we'll get this armature out so let's get the armature out it's literally undo these four screws okay and we're going to change this front bearing plate and put a complete bearing plate in you can just change the bearing it's entirely up to yourselves i will put links in the description to everything i'm changing today um, and the fans and everything that can be changed while doing this process so just keep those screws together, just turn that over, those bolts should fall out. There we go. And do these top two. Whoops, and off that comes. Just get that. Oh, maybe not. Okay. That should okay but we'll pull this off anyway with that bearing there we go as you can see now that's wobbling now I did see a video a lady posted she got quite a bit of movement so I'd say that the bearing in the front 
had actually gone on that Centria that she posted on the Kirby Facebook page. But we're going to replace this whole front section anyway, and I will put a link below of where to get this from. So it's pointless cleaning that because we're going to change it anyway. We'll keep our, bear, our washers to one side. So next up, what we've got to release is just this circlip on the back here. And this shouldn't be a really long video because most of everything has already been done. Get them in, locked, and out you come. And off that comes. Just try not to break these circlips as they are very fragile. We we'll just put that there. Now to get this off, what we'll do is we'll just get a little screwdriver and we're just going to prise that out of there, like so. Just leave it up gently, try not to snap anything on there, any of the cogs. Okay, and that should literally pull off. And you can pull it off with your hands. There you go. Easy as. Okay. So put that to one side. Now this armature should come out, so if you lift it out, like so, off that comes. You've got a little washer that's just popped out the back, little brush washer, that just goes in the bottom, and then you've got this piece here that just slots on there. So all we're going to do is remove this bearing today. Right, so to remove the bearing, you're going to need, and I'll put a link in the description below, a battery terminal alternator bearing pulley okay so I'll put a link below where you can actually get these so that will be in the description what we do with this is just clip that on there get that central and then just tighten away and that will pull that bearing literally to the top and then to get it all the way off as far as we can that should stop because the part of the pulley is a bit too big to actually get in that center bit so then all I do is get a hexagonal bit I'm going to sit that in the center I'll wind this pulley back and the smaller side will just sit in that center of there and that should pull that right off so we wind that up so we want the bit that you normally slot in your screwdriver connection there because that will go through the centre of the bearing smaller part just in the shaft like so, that's it ok so make sure it's locked on, make sure that little thing's in the centre and then just tighten and that should come off, there we go and off that comes Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was really informative, just showing you how easy it is to remove that rear bearing with that pulley. Like I said, I will put a link in the description below where you can actually get that pulley from. Um, it's such a simple process. So in the next video, I'll show you how to put the new bearing back on. So make sure you check that one out. And we'll get the G4 all back together and we'll fit that new front bearing casing as well. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you haven't already and you're getting value out of this content, consider slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comments, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do now is I'll just give a quick shout out to my new subscribers. I've had over 55 subscribers in a week, so there's quite a few to go through. Um, there won't be 55 that I'm shouting out because some of them have got their subscriptions hidden so I've only had notifications of a certain amount. I'll call half out in this video and then I'll call half out in the follow up video. Right so I'll just give a shout out to the, I'll go back to around the 11th of June. Um, I've got a John McFerrin, I've got a Kimberly Martin, I've got a Melina Rodensno, I've got a Drew Castle, I've got a Nic Nicola Gallop and I've got a Sempex. So again, thanks so much for subscribing and supporting this channel and sharing this channel. It's most much appreciated. Um, it's a great journey I'm having. So thanks so 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 much for your support. Um, the next lot I've got a Frank Dixon. I've got a Sweet P626. 
I've got a SM Nicely 4, I've got a JK, I've got a Crystal Stewart, Albany Sergeant, Jason Smith, I've got a Darren Ware, big Kirby fan there, um, I've got an L Lee, I've got an anonymous user, apparently, I've got a B F, I've got a Tin, Tim Demard, uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing it right, it might be more writing, and I've got a Nathan Pranich. So thanks again for supporting the channel. Thanks so, so, so much. It's much, much appreciated. Let's make it the biggest Kirby channel going. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, there's a big chance to get into that next draw at 750 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to answer that following question that will be coming up at 750 subscribers. And this Kirby G6 will be given away at 1,000 subscribers. So thanks for all your support. I'll say again, if you haven't already and you're getting value out of this content, then consider slapping that subscribe button to show your support, ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes, give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comments as I always do, so if you've got any problems, comment down below and what we'll do is we'll quit to the bloopers and I'll see you in the next one. There's a big chance to get into that next yeah, just if you haven't worn a boot off up. So, hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you haven't already, and you're getting content. So, and it's the same, the bearings are the same. And the tools you're gonna need for this is basically just a T. Um, and in the next video, what we'll do is I'll show you how to put that bearing back, the new bearing back on, and uh, how we'll fit that new. Well, so I hope you're doing, oh, so I'll go half out into that.